Hey everybody, Jessica with Sculptistry here, and I'm gonna need y'all to watch this entire video. Like I went over the details very thoroughly. I'm giving you guys content, okay? I'm gonna need you to watch, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or better yet, come and join the Facebook group. But don't be coming up in here and you haven't even watched the video or you skipped all the way through it, okay? But a big shout out to my subscribers. This is the Strawberry Sleeve. It went out to everyone in the month of January. I'm so thankful for the love and support and let's get right into it. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my hot glue gun and I am just adding a line of hot glue all around this tumbler because I'm gonna go ahead and place that into my sleeve. Okay, and that's gonna hold the tumbler in place, okay? And make sure that it doesn't move, all right? So your tumbler doesn't fit all the way in the bottom. It fits kind of right in the middle to the bottom, I guess I will say. You, you know, when you guys get it, you'll see. Um, but so you're going to need to make sure that it's centered and that's all I'm doing here is I am just pressing down firmly and I'm just making sure that my tumbler is not crooked inside of the strawberry sleeve. A big shout out to Jessica Flynn. I've been knowing Jessica, um, meaning following Jessica, um, in the tumbler community from the beginning um to be honest with you and i really like her as a person um she seems very genuine <laughs> um and i messaged her recently and she wound up sending me a sample of her epoxy um i have been known to be kind of set in my ways and you know once i find something i just ride with it all the way to the end right um but she sent me her uh regular cured epoxy and her fast set epoxy the one that i'm using now is her fast curing epoxy um and i have to say that i am floored that no one told me how great this epoxy is in comparison to the ones that I've used in the past. Like I'm really, really interested to, to know like how come there's no smell. Like there literally is no smell to this epoxy. I put the bottle up to my nose because I'm like, why can't I smell anything? Um, and also, as you can see here in the video they both have like this purplish bluish tint to it um so i'm assuming that's going to really help with the white um glitter tumblers and then lastly one thing that i'm in love with is the actual viscosity for those of you that are new to tumbler terms and stuff like that. That just means the thickness and consistency of the epoxy. Um, it is very thick. And I don't mean very thick as in too thick um, because I believe like most facet epoxies are kind of thick. Um, but it's like a lacquer. I don't know how to describe it, um, but it is perfect for um, like if you have, you know, glitter, a glitter tumbler or whatever, and then you need to add some epoxy, it's going to seal that, that glitter in. Like it, I guess because of the thickness, it does help to reduce the amount of sanding and multiple layers of epoxy. So Jessica, you have done some type of magic here with this epoxy. Um, no, she did not ask me to make a video or anything like that. She does not need any help from me, but I just want to say, Jessica, that this is amazing, um, epoxy and thank you very much for sending it to me. Okay. So now we are taking the second piece of your strawberry sleeve 
and you are going to make sure it fits, spin it around. Then you're gonna get your hot glue gun and you are just going to secure it. I literally, once I found the fit of it, I went ahead and took my hot glue gun and kind of tilted the sleeve up and then just placed a couple dabs of the hot glue um, just to kind of hold this in place because I mean, where you know it doesn't need to be permanently glued as far as that is concerned because we are going to be epoxying it you know so um you just want to add a couple bits of hot glue then i'm going to go ahead and take this outside and i'm going to spray paint this red i'm using rust-oleum um cherry red i believe it's called um i will put the correct name in the description bar Okay, so now that the um, strawberry is painted all nice and red, we're gonna go ahead and do the epoxy method. And um, that is just taking epoxy with your gloved hand and you're going to apply it all around. So the thing that I have noticed, like in retrospect, if I'm doing this again, um, because I actually had a lot of fun doing this strawberry, um, not all tumblers do I find um, fun, but this one was fun. Um, and so looking back at what I did and how I did it, I'm not sure that it's necessary to glitter the entire tumbler. You're gonna see me apply epoxy to the entire um, tumbler or the entire strawberry sleeve. Um, but it's not necessarily necessary for this tutorial because we are making a chocolate covered strawberry so you'll see me later on cover up a lot of the glitter okay um i wanted to i didn't know specifically my design in the beginning and so you know it is what it is <laughs> honestly you'll get to see two ways to do it you'll get to see if you didn't want to make a chocolate covered strawberry you just glitter the whole thing and if you did you'll see that later okay the trickiest part about this was getting in the nooks and crannies because ideally you want to do this once meaning the glitter application okay so i would suggest or highly suggest paying attention to detail um the color of your strawberry sleeve when it doesn't have any epoxy on it and when it does you'll see the difference and making sure that in all the nooks and crannies <coughs> excuse me in all the nooks and crannies you have epoxy before you add your glitter so the first time i did this i actually um hand sculpted it and you know for those of you that do not know um, and are interested in learning more about sculpting um, you just basically have to build an armature and that is usually um, by using you know materials such as foil and masking tape um, some cardboard literally you're just building up your shape okay and so the strawberry was pretty easy um to uh build up and um i actually blinged it out if you go to my TikTok and scroll down somewhere um actually let me put that video up in here somewhere so you can see it um but yeah i rhinestoned all of the all of that strawberry and it literally was a labor of love shout out to Melina who purchased that from me. Thank you so much. Um, that was literally a labor of love. Um, the topper was hand sculpted and the strawberry was hand sculpted. Um, it came out very beautifully and um, I decided to make a sleeve because what I'm trying to do is go back on all of the designs that I have created by hand and make sleeves for them because some of you um really have loved my designs and wanted to try and might have been a little overwhelmed with the process so the whole point of sculptistry is to make sculpting easier okay so for this one we do have to sculpt <laughs> we are going to be adding some clay um later on but you do not 
have to do as much work as you would have had to do if you were going to be sculpting this by hand okay um so i hope you guys enjoy that um portion of it and if you have any ideas for some products let me know um i highly suggest y'all come over to the facebook group there's a lot of great um, um, artists in the group who really really love posting and sharing their work okay um i've gotten to know these artists for a very long time i know sometimes joining facebook groups can be a little um scary because you don't know the vibe i can honestly say that the vibe is very friendly and um thoughtful and welcoming okay so and i'm not just saying that because my my group okay but nevertheless once you finish massaging your strawberry go ahead and add your glitter and um i am using this masquerade glitter mixed with another glitter um, by Backfist Customs. Um, shout out to Bruce. Y'all go check him out as well. And um, I am going to just liberally apply this glitter all over this strawberry, okay? Again, um, you see that I am literally trying to make sure um, I get in all of the spots because I really don't want no problems. Um, and that took the long, well, I wouldn't say the longest time, but it took a minute for me to really make sure that that was good to go. Okay, so I didn't have any green spray paint, so I am just taking acrylic paint and I'm just painting the front and the back of the topper. The reason why I designed this to be an open topper um, is because... Tony um, and Creations by Tony. Shout out to her. Y'all go check her out. Okay, I believe she is now teaching classes on um, how to make generated AI art. Okay, so y'all go check her out. Creations by Tony on TikTok. Um, but she had mentioned um, previously that a lot of people like to use the sliding mechanism on the lid um and so i was like okay <laughs> you know i love getting that kind of feedback and so i made it open so the lid um the sliding mechanism the sliding mechanism can still slide it's a lock to you know you know close the the lid okay so and that's why I did that and all I'm doing like I said is painting it to get a nice coverage I'm not worrying about splotchiness because I'm going to cover this with green, green glitter okay um and then um yeah I'm going to go ahead and seal all that in again with this amazing epoxy okay so as you can see this part is sped up but I am using premier air dry clay so you saw the culture sculpt um, I decided I, I'm not that familiar with the product. I've heard that it is amazing. It's lightweight, um, but it is an epoxy clay. And again, I wasn't confident that I knew what I was doing with my design yet. And I just really didn't want to mess this up. Um, so I decided to go with an air dry clay because my, uh, my strawberry is already, you know, sealed and epoxied. Um, anything I do here, I can just cut off or peel right off. Okay. Again, this is Premier Clay. It, it, re it really is my, um, air dry clay of choice. If you go back to any of my old videos when I was, um, doing all, all kinds of sculpting with cardboard and all that, um, I was using Premier Clay. Um, DOS air dry clay is good as well. It has a grainy texture to it and it's a little heavier. This is lightweight and it's just, it just works very, very well for me, but you're going to have to try and figure out what works best for you. Okay. And so all I'm doing is applying this around the strawberry. So there are so many different, um, strawberries like oh my gosh um i'm actually making this for a creator um he is you know a creator that specializes in making chocolate covered strawberries <laughs> so i'm gonna send this to her as a gift um she is a sweetheart and 
um, I want to send it to her. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but um, I was looking on Pinterest at all the different types of strawberries trying to get inspiration, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, I could do this. I could do that. I could do that. You know, it's like, wow. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see everyone's strawberries. Specifically, I'm talking to my subscribers. However, if you're like, oh my gosh, Jessica, I want to make one of these. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, you can you can become a subscriber anytime. Be well, you can become a subscriber on the 15th um through the third of the month that is when my slots open okay and then i try to ship um the week of the third of the following month right so um like say this month or say january i um opened my slots on january 15th they will close on february 3rd and then the boxes will go out the week of february 3rd okay um so yeah that is an option for you and what you can do is any of the um past boxes that you may have missed you can go back and purchase them all right you get a coupon code that you can use um which is a 20 percent off coupon code for the entire site um you also get tutorials because y'all asked me to start doing tutorials for um, the stuff that I'm selling. So you'll get a tutorial per month. You also um, get access to a special part of my website where I sell the uh-ohs, the misprints, okay? Anything that I do not feel like I should sell to the general public because it might have a defect, you get that for 50% off, which is really cool. Um, speaking of which, I don't think that y'all have checked out the misprint section because I added several things up there. Um, so y'all go check that out. And, um, there's a bunch of things. I have it all listed on my website. Okay. But it's open now, meaning January 15th until February 3rd. I would love to send you a box so you guys can come on and join. Okay. But as you see here, I am just adding the air dry clay um, piece by piece and I'm pressing it into the tumbler and then I am taking water. So in that cup, I have some water and I am using my finger to try just kind of smooth it um, together. All right. I'm not doing the bottom of the tumbler because there's no need, um, but I am just smoothing it in and trying to get all the lumps and bumps out okay and I'm gonna continue to do that guys I mean this is um, what I'm doing also I know you guys are gonna ask me so I'm gonna answer some questions that I think you guys may ask first question I think you're gonna ask me is do you have to use air dry clay so you cannot put this in your oven okay so yes you're gonna have to use either air dry clay or an epoxy um, type of clay such as culture sculpt or epoxy sculpt I believe it's called um, that you can get off their website or Amazon all right but you cannot bake these um, these materials so you will not be able to use an oven baked clay or polymer clay all right um, second question I know you're gonna ask me is could you just use probably like the Crayola magic clay um, there are two different types of Crayola um, there's one that comes in a tub right and then there's one that comes in the bags all right but they both say Crayola magic clay so it can be kind of confusing and they're both air dry clay um, the one that comes in the tub is the devil's clay don't use it that's just my opinion and I'm trying to save you a lot of the headache but the one that comes in a bag, um, you could use. The reason why I didn't use it was A, um, I literally did this tutorial in a day. So I didn't have time to wait for it to dry, right? And you definitely want it to dry out. Um, 
and that's one of the main reasons I didn't use it is because of the timing and also I have found that even when it is completely dry such as like my pancake topper um, it still can get a little squishy you know what I mean and I didn't want that I didn't want no squishy clay so I highly suggest using a air dry clay that you can um, blow dry and it will get completely hard or let sit out for a couple hours and get you know completely hard okay um, lastly um, let me think of what other questions you may ask me I think you're gonna ask me does it have to be premier um, and no um, there are several people like when I had my mentorship group um, there were several people when I was teaching um, about all this stuff that really didn't like the texture of Premier um, clay they felt like it was too slimy like smooth like for me I like it because it is smooth you know what I'm saying so a little bit of water and I could just rub 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 and I get a good nice smooth surface but um, if you have a texture issue this might not be the clay for you um, there, again there is DAS DAS clay um, that's an air dry clay it to me is a little heavier but you have to try it out I'd say premier is 14 either 14 or 13.99 I get it at Michaels um, but you can buy it on Amazon um, but I get it at Michaels and I usually use the coupons so I can get it half off a little goes a long way as you can see how much I use because you press and you smooth and it kind of drags it out okay um, but the same process um, that I did here is going to apply to any air dry clay now if you are going to braid it and do the Crayola um, magic clay um, you're gonna need to make sure your surface is clear free from glitter Use your rolling pin and get it as thin as possible, but not too thin to where you're still seeing the indentions in the strawberry. Okay. Um, but yeah, I honestly would try out the Premier and see. Um, but also remember, there's always Culture Sculpt um, by CC DIY. Um, you can use um, Code Sculptistry to save some money. Okay. Um, and you know that's a great product uh, people who are in the 3d community love um, this product okay I just don't have enough experience to really talk you through it okay um, but I'm gonna get there I am going to be practicing so that way I can know what to tell you guys okay um, but as you can see this clay I'm now just taking and I'm carving out like a uh, wave <laughs> around it because I have worked so hard on all this beautiful glitter and it's so pretty that I didn't want to cover up my strawberry completely all the way to the top um, if you look on Pinterest and stuff like that, you'll see that you barely see the strawberry on a lot of these chocolate covered strawberries. And that's because it's art. All they got to do is, well, not all they got to do, but they dip it completely in to the chocolate. Um, with this, I didn't want to do that because what was the point in creating it to have all these indentions? if I was going to, um, you know, cover it all up. So I went ahead and just added the clay around um, the middle and the bottom, okay? And I'm saving my clay, um, put it in your bag, and then I put it in this bag and then I put it in another bag to make sure no air gets in, okay? Um, and that's really all I'm gonna do. You will see me later on, I believe I show you, I take a tool and I kind of just carve away some of this clay that was giving me some lumps and bumps, okay? But um, yeah, just take your time. I'm interested to see you guys because I have seen that you have already started on your strawberries, which is really, really cool. 
I know that you guys are going to kill it. <laughs> I know you guys are. So um, we had one subscriber ask if we can do a challenge this month. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on seeing what the prizes can be for the challenge um, because we need to do a strawberry challenge, um, especially right in time for this uh, February 14th when a lot of people are going to be receiving these strawberries. Okay. Um, but yeah, take your time, carve it out, smooth it out. Okay. And then once you're satisfied with it, um, once you're satisfied with it, you are going to add your paint. All right. Always remember with air dry clay, you use water to smooth and for polymer clay, you use alcohol. So I just have a cup of plain water and I am using my paintbrush to kind of help um, smooth and get in some of these nooks and crannies. Okay. You can apply um, medium um, pressure, not too much to where you make a hole, um, you know, into your clay. All right. And even the bottom of your tumbler, you want to kind of smooth and carve it out. So that way there's no lumps and bumps and just take your time. Okay. So this is the tool that I was talking about. Again, I got this, I got a kit actually off of Amazon and it came with all kinds of stuff. I'll link it again in the description of this video. Um, but it came with like, an insane amount of stuff in a bag to carry it all in. So I was like, okay, I'll just get all the things. Um, and so this is one of my favorite tools, regardless of whether I'm using polymer clay or I'm using this air dry clay. Um, it is one of my favorite tools because it literally will scrape off um, just the right amount. You know, it is about your um, pressure that you actually apply, but, um, I'm just, uh, kind of like light pressure just going on and I'm just scraping the, um, the, the clay, removing the excess and then I'm keeping the excess and I'm putting it into the bag. Um, again, so you're not using as much clay as it may seem because you're going to cut it off. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up that part. But while I am speeding that up, y'all put in the comments, what kind of, um, you know, chocolate covered strawberries you like, I was pretty amazed to see all of the different types of, um, strawberries, <laughs> so many different, um, look like flavors, pink, you know, red, white, brown, you know, um, off white, blue, um, marble, like so many different kinds of, um, of, I want to call them flavors. Okay. So just remember that say marble. Okay. That's hydro dip, right? That's what we do. So when you see a marble strawberry, um, I want you to go ahead and hydro dip that strawberry. <laughs> Um, when you see, um, the strawberries that have all the little nuts on them or whatever, um, remember we can do fake nuts too. That's just a bag of, what is it? Um, corn cob or something like that. I'll put it in the description bar, but it looks just like it. Okay. Um, you have the, the strawberries that have the little hearts on them and stuff like that. Uh, we sell pre people, I don't sell it, but, um, say Lindsay with telly box craft, shout out to Lindsay. She sells all the little polymer clay, little pieces that you could add on to your, um, strawberry. Okay. Sprinkles. Um, you can even, you know, the drizzle that they do like the back and forth, back and forth. You could do that with clay. Or you could take your silicone mat and you could take your hot glue gun and you can um, put your hot glue on your mat, peel it off, and then put it on your tumbler. 
Like there's so many things that you guys could do. So I'm really excited to see you guys make this for someone or even yourself, okay? Um, I did not um, have time to do all the things and I had to restrain myself from printing another strawberry and doing another one. Cause I was like, oh, I wanna do this one. I wanna do that one. But I don't have time y'all. I'm trying to get y'all's orders out. <laughs> I'm trying to get these tutorials done. Um, sub boxes are due in two weeks. So um, I didn't have time to do another strawberry, but I am really, really excited to see y'all's. Okay. Um, and if you make one and you um, were inspired by me, please go ahead and tag me on social media. Um, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so next question under you're gonna ask me is that I wait before I applied the um, acrylic paint. No, I did not. Um, I didn't wait mm -mm, because I needed that, <clears throat> excuse me again, I needed that acrylic paint to help me smooth it out. It was very important to me that I didn't have lumps and bumps in my chocolate. <laughs> Um, but I'm using this deco art um, acrylic paint I'm not sure what color I put it in the description bar but I just went ahead and put this on so because your clay is not fully dry right because you just got finished taking your water with your finger blah 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 um, because it's not fully dry you're not pressing this paintbrush in you're just getting a globs of paint onto your brush and you are putting it onto your tumbler, all right? Um, you're not worrying about smoothing out the lines of the of the paint, nothing like that. Mm -mm. You are just putting it on to your um, clay, all right? As quick as you can, honestly, so that when you don't, you're not worrying about precision um, or anything. You're just getting it onto your strawberry, all right? Get that acrylic paint up there all right once you have it up there you're going to take your finger and you are going to dip your finger into the paint as well and you're going to um, smooth it out okay the acrylic paint does help with smoothing out the clay because it's water-based and it um is wet <laughs> all right so um if you guys go back to my um, video on my YouTube channel when I made the chocolate cake same thing. Um, I did not wait for it to dry I went ahead and um, Applied that paint right then. All right um, And you're just gonna continue on with that. All right, you're gonna continue on with that until you get the desired look All right, I struggled with how much of a drip to do because sometimes I like doing like a double drip taking little dollops of clay and let, making it look like it's really just dripping from it but i decided again to just go simple and classic with this one i know that she's gonna love it regardless okay um again um you know i'm just adding the paint on here and now i'm just taking my finger and i am going to just um dip it into the paint and smooth it up okay I'm going to, to repeat that process until it's done. And then I'm going to allow this um, paint to dry. Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna finish out like the outline of where the strawberry and the clay meet, okay? That's why I have my Q-tips there because I'm gonna need to clean it up. Um, but once you do that, you wanna allow this clay and paint to fully dry before you attempt to apply any type of epoxy okay but once you um finish you're going to apply your epoxy your favorite brand this is my new favorite brand um i need to go and place a bulk order <laughs> because this stuff is amazing i did decide that i will be selling tumblers again so if you're watching my channel and um, you would like to purchase something from me i will be uploading ready to ship tumblers onto my etsy page i'm gonna keep my website strictly for 
um, the craft community and then my Etsy page will be for Tumblr that I'm selling. All right. But um, because this was completely dry, I'm able to press, um, you know, firmly on to this to make sure I'm getting in all the nooks and crannies. I'm getting in the line and everything. But look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. I love, 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 love this. Um, and so I'm thinking like I'm going to check for you guys, but I'm thinking like a six by six um, box would be good for this wrapping it um, or maybe a seven by seven um, box. You can get those on Amazon if you guys are wondering how are you going to ship this bad boy um, to your customers. But um, I just love it. I'm going to take a paintbrush and I am going to apply it, apply epoxy onto the leaf part. All right. And I will show you guys that really quickly because once you apply your epoxy um, onto this, you know, leaf and you've let that cure, um, the only other thing you're going to do is take some hot glue, put it on the bottom and you're going to firmly pr press it onto the lid. Uh, a lot of people are concerned like, oh my gosh, hot glue, it's so messy. But if you do it right, it's not messy. Okay. I was anti hot glue in the beginning. <laughs> I really was. Um, but I've, I've grown to like it. It's reliable. Um, it's really no variables in comparison to like UV resin. Um, and it's easier, meaning like I didn't have to sand my lid because I would have needed to if I was using regular epoxy or even UV resin, I would have needed to sand that acrylic lid. Um, and I didn't need to worry about that. So all I'm doing is adding a circle of hot glue and then I am going to firmly press it onto my lid, making sure that the sliding mechanism still works, you know, good and I'm good to go. Okay. Um, you could purchase one of those, um, removable topper bases for me or any other place and you could make this a removable topper with magnets. That would be pretty cool too. Um, they would not necessarily need to drink out um, of a straw. They can drink straight from the tumbler as if they're drinking from a strawberry. <laughs> it is just so freaking cute. Um, but I personally um, will be um, sending a little stainless steel straw a curved one to this um, young lady so she can have a beautiful straw as well okay but I'm going to take this bad boy out into the sunlight so you can see how beautiful this looks and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial I really appreciate you guys subscribing um, again thank you for everyone to everyone who has joined my Facebook group we are almost at 400 members. <laughs> I love that. I think that is so great. Um, and I love the environment. I love the vibe that we have going on in there. So let's keep, keep up the great work. And I uh, will talk to you guys later. Until next time, guys. Bye.